Hey guys, everyone loves to have a nice, crisp little LED TV in their living room, especially when they are the large size. So if your wife has been nagging like, oh, get me a large HD TV, and you might be worrying that, oh no, maybe they consume a ton of power. Guys, it's time to relax because today we are going to get some answers. Guys, today over here for you, I have this uh, 55 inch LED TV. This TV is made by MI. It is a native 4K TV and it comes with smart features. Let me confirm the resolution over here on my laptop. So as you can read over here, that is 3840 into 2160. And today we are going to do a detailed power consumption test of this TV. And yes, do watch this video entirely because I'm going to give you a power saving tip in the end of this video. Before beginning this uh, complete test, let me run you through the settings at which uh, we are running this uh, particular TV. So let's go into the menu and this TV is configured very normally just like anyone would use. So there are no fancy power saving or any kind of fancy settings. So as you can see over here, everything is just normal and standard. So this is something the way in which you would have in your living room. Let me check uh, the backlight over here because backlight is the number one power consumption factor and the backlight is set at 80%. Let's go back and here we can see that the TV is uh, working and what's working along with this TV? Well, this cute little power meter and the power meter is showing the power consumption of this TV at the current scenario, which is 104 watts. As you can read on the display, so that is somewhere around 104, 105 watts of energy being consumed to run this giant, huge 55 inch LED TV. Yes, the sizes have gone up drastically and considering the kind of size, I think that they are still pretty power efficient. So roughly 100, 110 watts is what you will have to pay to run a giant LED TV in your living room. And in my previous video where I tested the 40 inch model, yes, I did test a 40 inch LED TV model. If you want to see that video, the video will be over here in the I button or you can find it in the description below. One gentleman commented that, sir, please turn up the volume, audio, video. These two things are together because it's a part of experience along with the video, you need to have the audio. So please turn up the volume and let me know if using the speakers is going to increase the power consumption of this uh, device. So well, why not? Let's do that. Currently, as you can see, the TV is running at 104 watts and let's increase the volume and let's see what kind of uh, changes we get. So there we go. So guys, as you can see on the display, the power consumption did change, but the change was very small. So please stop worrying and turn up the volume as when you need. So the power consumption went up to 110 or was it 111? So I guess that's maximum of 5 watts of energy. Uh, that is the difference which we had by activating the speakers. All right. Now it's time to deactivate this TV. Well, why? Because we are going to test the standby power consumption of this TV. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the remote like this to turn off this uh, sweet little TV. What you need, what you guys need to do is go down below and use the like and subscribe buttons to show your support for this little channel. Are you ready? That's great. So here I'm going to turn it off like this. So it is shutting down and these power meters take a few moments to stabilize. And by the time that happens, let me suggest that if you want to buy this kind of power meter, if you want to buy this uh, complete LED TV or anything else shown in this video, please consider using my affiliate links which are waiting for you in the description below. With that done and said, I guess uh, we are over here in the standby mode and standby power consumption is a uh, pretty less. It's fluctuating somewhere around one watt. So one, one and a half is going to hover somewhere like that. So I'm just going to call it 
one watt of energy being wasted by keeping this TV in the standby mode. So if you are a couch potato and you usually turn your turn off the TV using the remote like this, please consider turning it off from the wall socket directly like this so that you can save those additional half or one watt of energy. So that's it for this uh, neat little video guys. I hope you like seeing this kind of video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to activate this TV and enjoy some good stuff over here. You guys subscribe to this particular channel and if you're interested in watching more videos like this, there's a complete playlist waiting for you in the description below. The playlist is known as power consumption testing. Go ahead and check it out. Take care and have a nice day guys.